the thoughts in the background, they, they are coherent. They are hanging together, also like water waves in ocean. So David Bohm, another pioneer, said, reality is undivided wholeness. So you see, of course it's not new. Hegel, the 18th century German idealist philosopher, he already said, absolute spirit is the primary reality. Everything comes out of it. Everything belongs to it. And by the way, if you are proud of your thinking, think again, because it's really the cosmic spirit who is thinking in you. Well, Hegel, Hegel. <laughs> Actually, he wasn't the first. The Indian sages already had something like this. You see how these, how these things come back and back and back? This is perennial philosophy. There are truths that are so basic and so deep. They have come for thousands of years. They have re-emerged in different people, in different minds, at different times, different parts of the world. And everything that we talked about in, in quantum physics is like this. Vib the visible world comes out of vibrations. Um, Maurizio, what is this thing here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you see, yes, and then Sufism, to get in, in resonance with the divine vibrations. Ancient ideas, all of a sudden, they come in a rational way out of a mathematical analysis. Kashmir Shaivism, Spanda, the world comes out of Spanda, cosmic vibrations, throbs in the divine. Why can't we say Schrodinger's wave functions are throbs in the divine? <laughs> so you see the similarities. Other potentiality, um, Vedantic teaching, the world comes out of Brahman. Brahma didn't create it. No, the world, the visible world, emanates out of Brahman. Before it does, it already exists in Brahman as a potentiality. It is exactly the same description of the world as quantum physics. Yeah, then virtual states. Not invented by quantum chemists. No, the term was invented by Meister Eckhart. 13th century mystic, he said the existence of things in the empirical world is due to the actualization of their virtual being. It, it blows you away. When I first <laughs> saw this, it's, it's incredible. And actually, virtual comes from virtue. He said the invisible being is the virtue of things, not what you see. It's a true reality. So quantum theory, if you want to, is a form of mysticism. 